3rd. It's Saturday, it's the weekend. Of course it's the weekend because I've slept in, which is normally fine, but Cass got up early because he needed to go into work this morning and I think I forget that if he's got an alarm, then I don't really put an alarm on. So I forgot that I was going for birthday breakfast for Lee today. It's Lee's birthday. What is the time? It's 10.16 and we've got breakfast at 10.30. That's okay, it's fine. Luckily, I live literally the closest to town out of the whole family, so it's all good. And I've just chucked this on, does it, is it even? It's so creased, it's so cute, look at this. Should I stand on my new bed? Probably not. Gymshark sent me some new bits. I just got everything in like super large because I just know that in the next couple months nothing's gonna fit me. So this will see me through and I'm really into grey at the moment. What's next? Oh, advent calendar. Nan got me an advent calendar yesterday. Cause you know I said I didn't have one. So I've got three days to do. How fun is this? And we always used to go away for Christmas uh, like we did last year. And when we were younger, it would be so exciting because we'd go on like the 16th or 17th and my nan and granddad would be like, guys, you can eat the rest of your advent calendar before we go. And me and Joel were like, <laughs> finishing the whole thing because there's no point taking it away. Oh my God, I just can't not do it. It's a new bed, I just feel like it's bad for me to get in that routine already. No matter what time it is, there's always time for a chop. See, it's not perfect, but that took me what? Three seconds and now I can walk in and be like, oh, it's not too bad in here, is it? Open my shutters. And now it's time for breakfast. Hi, we are on our way to go and pick up Lee's cake. Nan's in the car with me, but this is honestly the only place my camera sits still, to be honest. We've ordered a cake from m and which is such a good idea. We didn't, well, I'll let you know after once we've got it, but we always get like personalized ones from like cake makers. These 50th was last year, so we did a really extravagant cake, but this year, 51st. So we looked on m and and they've got some really, really, really nice cakes and you pre-order them and they're like freshly made. Um, so we pre-ordered it in the week and we're picking it up now. And it's like a drip cake, which we will see in a sec. And it's like three different flavors. This could be the new life hack. Here's the cake, we'll have to wait and see later, but cookies Yum. and cream, so that's like Oreo flavor. And then there's all drips down the side, which you actually can't see, but it looks yummy. It does look yummy, doesn't it? I'm very excited because My little clip on light came. And also, I don't know what's going on. I think I ordered two, because one came and then an hour later, another one came, but they're two completely different brands. And it kind of is ringing a bell now. But now I have two. Well, I have three, because I have the one that I dropped down the toilet, which only works if it's plugged in. But the whole point of these is that they're so good because they're portable and you can like chuck them in your bag they're so small let me just unplug this so i can show you like it's just that's my laura mercier powder it's like the size of your phone so it fits in all like your handbags and stuff i'll link it in the description it's just from amazon how are we doing for time oh, i've not got much battery on this camera either but i thought i'd do uh like a little get ready with me because i'm going out for dinner we've got dinner for Lee's birthday which I feel like I've said about a million times today and there's not really been much else going on today my cousin's girlfriend one of my good friends Abby she popped around this afternoon but it's really hard to vlog when a friend comes around obviously because I'm obviously not going to set up the camera and <laughs> vlog whilst we're just having a catch up I've gone back to loving this moisturizer so I just thought I'd get ready and then show you maybe some products that i've been liking this is the longcom absolute soft cream really nice and like thick and luxurious and then i'm using the 
Estee Lauder Advanced Night Cream. I just like having an eye cream on for under my makeup. I'm using a darker shade of the HMB foundation that I had on yesterday if you watched day two because I caught myself a couple times in the mirror yesterday and I looked so pale. I literally never do a full face anymore. I probably do it like once every, I'll say once a week, maybe once every 10 days. Uh, I am actually going out tomorrow so I will be doing my makeup again tomorrow. I'm going to Manchester, it's Molly's baby shower and you have to wear all white, <laughs> which... I actually didn't realise that I don't have anything white. I have a lot of cream and beige, but nothing stark white. So I had to do an order and I've not even gone through it yet, which is rookie error. I ordered like four outfits from ASOS. So we will see, but I'll take you along to that. And I'm also taking Kelsey with me. That should be fun. What else is going on at the moment? Get ready with me it always feels like a phone call with your friends, doesn't it? But I need to, speaking of friends, I need to actually try and squeeze in. I don't know why it's like the pressure of squeezing in seeing everyone before Christmas. But I just feel like I have to squeeze in like one more time of seeing people in the year we're currently in. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because the last time you see them, you're like, see you next year. And that just seems like a really bold statement and... Obviously it's not that deep because you could see someone on the 25th of December and then see them on the 2nd of Jan and technically speaking there's like a whole year in between but it's really only a week. But I've got a date in the diary to see all my YouTube girls in, well just before Christmas actually, so that should be nice. And then honestly this Christmas for me is just all about chilling and just spending time with family and making the most of the last Christmas just me and Cass before we have a little mini us. Also when Abby was around today, her friends just had a baby and she was like, it, the baby just looks so much like the dad. And Zelia literally said to me the other day, like don't expect your baby to look like you. It's gonna be Cass's twin because Pia looks so much like Ben. It's, it's just so crazy how strong like the dad genes are, isn't it? So. I'm literally prepping myself to give birth to mini Cass. One thing that's randomly hit me is struggling to sit up a dinner table for a long time because my back really starts to hurt. So that's the only like negative at the moment with pregnancy is the bad back that's lingering. Even just sitting like this, up, that's why I'm sitting up against my bed because I'm hoping every so often I can just do this. Considering I'm carrying pretty small, I think, well, I'll find out soon. I've got a 25-week midwife appointment possibly next week, I think. So, golly gosh, it's only going to get worse as I get bigger. Also, loving the powder puff hype. Obviously fell into the trap because of TikTok. And I actually really, really like it. I'm still yet to find a concealer that's like my ride or die. I think I've just got naturally dark under eyes. This makes the powder gone so, so smooth. Did you see that? It's a good time. They're nice and cheap. These are the Trigwell cosmetic ones. And you get two. I can't remember how much they were. I feel like they were like six or seven pound. I don't know if I can link them on here because, like I said, I got them on TikTok. But they're literally all over TikTok. I'm sure you've seen them. Oh my God. On Monday, I'm going to see... Kalani and I'm so excited she's one of the artists I've loved for so many years and she just seems to have never come to the UK and Cass is working with her that night as well which is really strange so I'm going to her show and then Cass is going to be with her at her after party so I'm going to be trying to barge through the crowds and he's literally just unintentionally what's the word like just not bothered that he'll be just next to her so i'm really happy for you honey congratulations <laughs> but i'm very excited i just like the vibe of girl concert i think this will be maybe my last concert whilst being prego obviously justin moved his tour i would have 100 percent gone to that even though i would literally be like probably like 35 36 weeks pregnant and chris brown's 
took his dates as in obviously justin's moved his tour postponed it postponed will he do it i'm not sure to be honest a few people have dm me and said what do i think i don't know i'm so 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 grateful that you got to go on this tour not throw it in but i got to go to the tour because i went and saw him in miami and it was an amazing show so it's really really sad that he's not doing it but i don't know because i actually had tickets when he was it purpose because the miami show i was supposed to go to like two years ago and then that got cancelled because of covid obviously that he didn't postpone that himself like that was out of his hands and then it ended up being the justice tour so i think if anything i don't think he won't not perform in the uk he will but i think it will be a matter of it might be a couple years and it will probably be a different tour and he'll probably have another album out by then that's my honest truth but i'd love to get chris brown tickets i think they're going to be ridiculously hard to get hold of because obviously he's not toured in the uk europe like over 10 years right so i think that'll be a myth but i might try i would definitely only go if i got seated tickets and i feel like he's the type that would do standing and i feel like standing tickets always a little bit easier to get but i would not risk it being heavily pregnant but we will see but this could yeah possibly be my last concert anyway i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup off camera because i'm scared i'm gonna be late i've got about half an hour to be fair i've not got much more to do but my battery's flashing anyway and i need some battery tonight so i'll show you my makeup and my outfit when i'm ready i think i'm gonna wear a dress tonight i like the dress with the bump at the moment so catch up in a sec oh my goodness this is the best my hair's looked in a long time i've used the shark tool that like wrapped my hair and i am obsessed it looks really cute and i'll show you my dress from plt maternity really nice i just don't know what shoes i'm gonna wear because it's not really a I mean, you can go dressy there, but I just don't think anyone's going dressy. So I showed this dress in a vlog the other day. Uh, I just showed you what I got for Black Friday and this was the dress. So I'll link it down below. Again, even though it comes under maternity, I think it's just because they put a little rouge here. I honestly don't think that. Like, I think you can get away with this if you wasn't pregnant, if you like this dress, because it's really nice material. But I want to get ready because my nan's going to shout at me if I'm late. Bye. happy 4th of december this is vlogmas day five yeah because i'm always the god i don't think i'm ever gonna get hang of this maybe i don't need to say it i think it's just for myself when i'm editing back so i can title it so it's selfish reasons but it's bright and early for a sunday well it's 20 past nine yeah i'd probably be asleep right now getting ready to get the train to manchester and i have a special guest here she is, <laughs> Cleopatra. I'm that not hair, yet. I can't. This thing's so good though. I gave Kelsey this um, head thing, so I just couldn't sleep in it. I just think there's more comfortable things to sleep in. I'd rather curl my hair in the morning, to be honest. Yeah. But I've set myself my traditional timers. I've done a half an hour timer. I've said this before, but if you're scared you're going to be late for something, set yourself like pressure timers. So I've done a 30 minute one for makeup and then I'm going to do a 20 minute one for hair. And then whatever's left is just like luck of the draw. Just like that, we're in Manchester after three hours. I think I vlogged about three hours ago. I did get the camera out whilst it was on the train, but my lighting's on yellow, one sec. There we go. The train was quite busy and we actually made friends <laughs> with the girls on our table. And we were just, well, just talking about kids mainly, because they had kids that were a little bit older than us. 
and yeah we just chatted the whole journey which always makes the train go so fast kelsey's never done the train to manchester how was it no it's actually all right i'll definitely train all the way next time yeah yeah no driving because driving can take up to five hours sometimes yeah. for us and the train if you don't count getting into london from london it's like it two, took us half just over two hours london, and it was like two and a bit hours yeah yeah, so it was pretty good, and, and it was quite comfy. Like the toilet three o'clock, which feels like it's like the end of the day. It was literally gonna be getting dark soon, Aye. but the baby showers just started. We're on our way now, and we've seen a couple sneak peeks. It looks beautiful. I don't know if I mentioned this morning or if this was in yesterday's, but I have no idea how it is. If I'm gonna obviously ask Molly if I can vlog, if not, then I won't vlog at all. But if I get any pictures I'll include them but obviously it's a little bit of an intimate day so if it is a situation where people are vlogging because I know obviously a lot of her friends are in the industry then of course I'll take you along but yeah we're on our way I could have shown you the present earlier I completely yeah. forgot but um I'll tell you ah, would she have opened it though by then no. I got something a little personalized sorry for the baby with the baby's name on as long as she's not changed the name i'm not sure but i'm not gonna say in case maybe she's keeping the presents i don't know you're supposed to keep the presents till the baby's here no you definitely open them okay I don't know the i'm not gonna thing. say anyway just you in case she's saving it oh yeah perfect thank you so much It's a cold night, baby, and I'm on my way to you And the snow keeps falling down I'm not even gonna give you the option, you're gonna be in the vlog <laughs> 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 